What's up YouTubers and welcome back to another video. Today we've got 21.2 and it consists of a 12 minute time cap which is once again split into two parts. We've got part A and part B. So we'll start the workout with part A which consists of dumbbell snatches and burpees with a rep scheme of 21, 15 and 9. So we perform 21 snatches into 21 burpees, 15, 15, 9 and 9. After we finish with part A, we then rest for two minutes. Bear in mind this is eating your time cap. After we've rest for two minutes, we then move on to part B, which consists of door rows and single arm overhead squats with a rep scheme of 15, 12, and 9. So once again, we perform 15 door rows, 15 overhead squats, 12 and 12, 9 and 9. Can I beat the clock? Let's see. So what's up YouTubers, back again with 21.2. Just like to say, I think the quality is a bit better on this video compared to 21.1. I thought I had set up the camera properly in the previous video, but obviously not. And I was definitely not recording that workout again. So I'll hold my hands up on that one, but we're learning and that's the main thing. Music for this video is produced by my mate Will. It is available for down download on SoundCloud. Uh, the link is in the description, so please do go check it out. So today we have another time cap workout, however, this time with a rest period included, which only means one thing, and that is to go all out. So into part A and working for our first set of snatches. A compound move that works the full body and strengthens the glutes, hamstrings, lats and shoulders, whilst increasing our explosiveness and agility. Each rep will build our shoulders, posterior chain and core muscles as the dumbbell is lifted from the ground to overhead, making sure that the dumbbell touches the ground before we reach full extension. We then move on to burpees, a movement which is feared by most people. However, I quite like them. I think they're a great conditioning piece to add into a workout to increase the heart rate. They also have many health benefits such as improving our body awareness, um, mobility and cardiovascular endurance. Not to mention they work a range of muscles as well, so what's not to like? Anyway, I'll be quiet for now. Enjoy the rest of part A. So coming to the end of part A and just entering our last set of burpees. I think I finished part A in and around five minutes and 20 seconds. Um, overall, snatches and burpees were smooth. However, the burpees did slow down a little bit as the workout went on. As you can see right now, definitely not as quick as the first set of 21, but that's expected when you mix them with any movement. So before going into part B, we rest for two minutes. And we want to focus on bringing our breathing and heart rate back down to a much more normal status as much as we can. After resting for two minutes, we head into part B to complete the workout. Unfortunately, I don't have a pull-up bar, so I had to scale the workout to ring rows, which does have similar elements to a pull-up. 
It is a movement for good technique as we focus on rotating the rings inwards and squeezing the back muscles as we reach the top of each rep. It is a great variation for those who cannot do pull-ups as we develop the pull strength needed. Overhead squats, once again, a movement which improves overhead stability and strength of the shoulders and core. It also helps to improve the mobility of the hips and ankles, which will help when we perform movements such as squat snatches when we need to get under the bar. Overall, I finished the workout in 10 minutes and 7 seconds, so I beat the time cap. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you for 21.3. Stay safe. Thank <laughs> you.